Hello dear friends, before going to the video, please subscribe our channel for more new videos and information. The seventh episode of The Last Kingdom's fifth season begins with Steora, played by Ruby Hartley, grieving the death of Sigtrigger, played by Aistine Sigurdarsson, Devs, the courier. It's a significant event for her, and his sword is placed on his chest as he prepares for his final journey into the afterlife. Unfortunately, the funeral rites are cut short when the attendees discover Breeder stabbed Perlik. Kevin Clerkin, the capture, Muscle, plays Perlik, who stumbles upon the funeral scene covered in blood, warning Uchard that Breeder is coming for vengeance. Butchard, played by Alexander Draymond, American Horror Story. Coven, is shocked and enraged by this news, and seeks out Edward, played by Timothy Innes. The favorite, the sense of ending. First, given Steora's current state of grief, Edward sees an incident that could spark further rebellion against him. The only way to prevent this from happening is for Steora to publicly swear allegiance to Edward. If Steora accepts these terms, she will rise up and be given a mission to lead the Danes under Edward's banner. Uhtred even sees it as a way to unite the lands against both Breda and Ethelhelm's threats. Ethelhelm? played by Adrian Schiller, Beauty and the Beast, Suffragette, as his men close in on Elfwyn, played by Fia Saban in Macclesfield. Elfwyn's men are captured and will be used as a bargaining chip. Aethelhelm then sows seeds of doubt among the people of Scotia, claiming that Edward murdered the Queen and that he only cares about himself. Aethelhelm is looking for allies who are also interested in taking out Edward which would allow his grandson, whom he can control, to ascend to the throne. Staara chooses to pledge her loyalty to Edward, but she backs out at the last moment. Edward is understandably enraged and exiles Steora from his lands. Meanwhile, Uhtred is summoned to a private meeting with Bryder. Uhtred knows it's a trap, but he doesn't have much of a choice. Given their history, the fight between the two is ultimately bittersweet. The montage that combines the present and the past does an excellent job of capturing the depth of the two's relationship, as well as the stakes at stake. Butchard eventually refuses to kill Breda, but he does defeat her in battle. He instead urges Breda to seek a non-violent path to salvation. However, as soon as she agrees and appears to be enlightened, an arrow pierces her heart. The murderer is revealed to be Stara who tells Uhtred that she has finally done what he could not. This episode's ending is extremely jarring and captures the overall essence of the show and what has been at stake throughout. With Breda no longer present, it will be interesting to see how Ethelhelm decides to pose his threats to all neighboring lands. To threaten all neighboring lands. This is one of the best episodes of the season, full of emotion, action, and even more plotting.